This program is brought to you by Emory University. At Emory, there's a safe, welcoming place open to every student who's looking for help. Where you can get back on your feet and begin to feel like your old self again. Where the weight of the world will seem a lot lighter. This is the number one thing that, that students ask, and especially students of color ask, which is, when is it bad enough for me to come in? And what I really want students to know is, the earlier you come in, actually, the better. Because the earlier you come in, the more emotional energy you have to deal with what's going on. Where you'll find protection and balance. You don't have to work on those problems by yourself. You don't have to be alone that there are services, that there are people that you can talk to. We have a health ed department that does a lot of outreach so people are familiar with us on campus before they come in. Where you'll learn how to become healthier in a confidential setting. We are very particular when it comes to uh, confidentiality. The information that um, a student shares with someone on my staff is confidential the same way that you're talking to a lawyer is confidential. At Emory University Student Health and Counseling Services, you'll discover a place filled with skilled staff dedicated to your short-term and long-term health. Try to reassure them that we're not a substitute parent, but we care about them and we're not going to let things ride and I can see them every day if I have to. Mental illness should have no gender or color or age. Anything from a sore throat to a runny nose to allergies um, to asthma. Everything from relationship issues, breakups, to adjustment to college, depression. I try to make sure they know that we're available and re available all the time because we have doctors on call also 24-7, our doctors. They can always reach somebody for advice, for questions, and our doctors are very good about calling people back. If there's an emergency after hours, um, we're fortunate in that we have the Emory Hospital just down the street. There is no fee for office visit or consultation with a physician, physician assistant, or nurse practitioner. We are available and we're free. If you come to see me, it's free. If you come to see the nutritionist, it's free. If you come and you have questions about sexual health or anonymous testing, free. Student Health Services is 1525 Clifton Road, second floor, and it's also across from the Rawlings School of Public Health. The Counseling Center is located at 1462 Clifton Road, Suite 235, that's the second floor. This is the building that's directly across Clifton Road from Woodruff Residence Hall. And from main campus, you would go across the pedestrian bridge. This is the bridge that goes over the railroad track, and we're the first building on the right. I have really loved being part of a team that everyone seems like they have been so committed to working there for a long time. But people really enjoy this population. They're really dedicated to taking care of young people. And really, our profession as a whole places a high value on working with people who come from diverse backgrounds. And that's not just people of color. It's diversity in every sense of that word. That we love students and we're welcoming to students and we would take care of them like we would our own kids. Emory University Student Health and Counseling Services. Working to build a healthier student body, mind, and spirit. The preceding program is copyrighted by Emory University.